Alright, I hope it's not just me, but I feel like the books put the Hornets like every three days. But yeah, you know, I like that matchup. And the crazy thing is, we almost went to this game because we live, we live near Charlotte. And so we were, we were busy because we just recently moved. We were moving stuff and everything. We were going to go to this game, but uh, we we're going to, we we're choosing like, to go to the Hornets game later on. But, you know, I never got to see it. I wish it was there. We were almost there. So let's just see what we were, what we missed. Bucks, Hornets. Ah, January 10th. I hope everybody can see the score good right now. Um, I've actually seen Giannis play in real life, though, but just one time. What was that? Come on, LaMelo, get that. There we go. We got LaMelo on fantasy, by the way. So we got to hope he does good. Um, what am I saying? Uh, yeah, we saw Giannis before, like in 20, 2017, 2018 season. Well, let's see here. Um, yeah. We're probably going to go to, I saw there was a, we might go to the Hornets-Lakers game. That's what I'm thinking of uh, when they when they come to town. I think that's in like a week or two, somewhere around then. Because we know somebody actually, he gets, uh, it's actually my uncle. He works at this place where you can like eat, well he gets free VIP tickets. And uh, he does, he's not really like a big basketball fan. So sometimes he uh, he can give us the tickets if he wants to, if he want if he wants to, of course. But or he can go with us. Cause I think there's a couple he has. But yeah. Bro, that guy has butter fingers. <laughs> Scary Terry, nice. Yo, I just found out the Hornets announcer is this guy named Eric Collins and also Dale Curry. <laughs> I just figured that out. I was like, what? Alright, what was that commercial? DiVincenzo. Remember him? He, was, he hasn't played in a while, though. Because I saw he was like, he was out in fantasy. I'm like, I, he's been out for like a whole... Forever. Bro, that guy. Who is that? Oh, is that that new Grease dude? Oh, man. I predicted the season. He's going to be really good. At the very beginning of the season. But, like, I'm not saying this year, like, the next couple of years, maybe, like, the next Giannis. Or something. But that guy has no control of what he's doing. He almost fell down. He was li literally leaning on Giannis. Oh, he just shot that, man. Come on, Princess. Rodney Hood is with the Bucks. What? I thought he was with the Cavs. And then Portland. What? Nice. Uh, Giannis for three? <laughs> Bro, if he starts hitting at least like two or three of those a game, even that's going to change a lot. Because, you know, if he starts playing like how we did the All-Star game last year, that's going to be incredible. There we go, Lamelo. Prove to me why, Lonzo, why you're better than Lonzo. Would Lonzo make this? Nice. But if the, the only bad thing was about fantasy is uh, I'm doing really good. But this week, I have so many guys that just aren't even playing. Like, their teams aren't playing. Because yesterday, the guy I'm going against, he had like eight guys, eight, eight uh, players playing. And all I had yesterday was Lamella Ball and Lance Stevenson. Those are my only guys. And, and guess what? Today, he has like five guys. And I have like six guys. So technically, it's not even fair. I don't know why. But Lamella, there we go. You have to carry me. Thank you. He said, intentionally, backboard. <laughs> that guy 
cannot catch again. Bro, it's I'm literally unstoppable down low. That was very ugly on what Plumley's part. What was that? He was like, up. Oh. What was that? Intentionally, bro, that could have been me right there. This guy right here, this literally could have been me. But our seats were like right here. That could have been me. Lamelo, Lamelo. Oh. Hmm. Bro, I hear something in my room over there. Mel for three. <laughs> Bro, thank you for carrying me. Whole bunch of nothing. What was that? Giannis, bro. Bro, the ball seems slippery, though, to be honest. They put butter on it. Mellow, nice pass. Assist. Ah, bro. <laughs> Bucks gonna make this game? Maybe. Got that mid range too. That's what I'm saying. Like, my top five shooters are all really good three point shooters. Like, they're known for the three point shooting. But the thing is, if they can shoot the three, what makes them not be able to shoot a closer shot that's a lot easier? A jump shot. Simple, right? See? Yeah. He can shoot threes, he can do mid, mid range, all that. Last pass. Ooh, what was that? Mm, that went by fast. Alright, six minutes to go. Down by three. Giannis. But how does Giannis never get hurt? And he plays with, like, down low the intensity. He has to get hurt at least one of these years. Ah, oh, come on, defense. <laughs> he died now, it's gonna be like, uh oh. <laughs> Bro, why are you not passing it to LaMelo? He's literally on fire. They're wide open. Bro, that guy's so bad. Connaton? Okay, good shot. Giannis, such a foul. Bro, that was a foul. Bro, I'm a Hornets fan, but that, you literally knocked over a guy. <laughs> oh, if Giannis shot that. <laughs> he can't stop that. Only thing you have to do is try to knock the ball out on the way up, and that's a little tough. Yo, if you hear that sound, that's not me. I don't know what that is. But whatever, just ignore it. Uh, Giannis? Alright. He may be the only player in the NBA. Yeah, don't shoot free throws? I'm telling y'all, you gotta shoot, practice how to shoot. And that was a very fortunate balance he got. Or that could have been me. But I mean, I would have had like, a reaction. I would have been like, come on, LaMelo. Look right here. There you are, LaMelo. Do something. Nice move. There we go. 
All right, Giannis, where you at? Bad pass? Yo, that was the ugliest play I had ever seen. I would not have done that, though. Bridges, can't make that. That's the game. Why are y'all even trying, bro? Giannis for three? Yay, yeah, please got that, because I got Giannis in the league. Please got that NBA. That was good. All right, good game, LaMelo. Hope he had at least 30 points. Um, You know, triple-double as usual. But other than that, pretty fun game.